like my first comedy show, and Bobby was in the front front row making fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, who the hell is this guy? It's probably 1997, 98. Yeah, 97, 98. And um, then, he be then he worked at MySpace, and then he worked at Comedy Central, and now he's at All Things Comedy, where Tiger Belly is at. But anyway, I've known him forever. He's like family. I've known Nick forever. Me and Joe Coy. Remember Joe Coy and I had a... I had a show that, and then you were like helping us with it. it. Should have been made. Yeah, it should have been made. You guys pitched it, and then it was like bombed in the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of bombed. It didn't bomb in the fucking room. It wasn't a great. Yeah. He came into my office. Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. Like, what the hell is happening it, there? Okay, so anyway, it, I've known Esther for twenty yeah. years. Yeah. I've just known everyone for so it's like when they called and said we have a movie. I mean, obviously, I'm going to say let's do it because they're I love them and. Um, and it was like a really, I mean, the first day was a nightmare. <laughs> but, but, but listen, I'm so sorry. Listen, I'm so sorry. You got, I, I, I've been talking shit and I'm so sorry. And I, 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 you're a great director and we had a, just a tough day and we'll never talk about it again, okay? Okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank but you. it was it was great. So, um, well, the, I'll just say what happened. <laughs> I will, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> So, you know, I, because um, all my scenes are mostly in the pharmacy, right? Um, I, I, I just memorized the first four pages of the script, right? But then when I showed up that first day, we were doing other pages, which is a lot of other dialogue. And so I started panicking, right? Yeah. And then I had a panic yes. attack, right? You know how one ha does, right? Sure. And then him and I had a, just a tough day in the big, right? Well, yeah. yeah. Nick is yeah. tough. Like, Nick was not, like, I... <laughs> He's his dad is a famous boxing coach, so it's like he's he's tougher, mm. and so I think that that just made you. You have a megaphone. You have a fucking megaphone. <laughs> you have a megaphone. I had a microphone, yes, because I had to because I couldn't be inside the little perch with you. You know oh, that's that's that that little tiny pharmacy thing. Okay. And then I think that he you didn't... got more sensitive. <laughs> well, yeah, we had. No, Bobby got. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say to me? No. You oh, got he sensitive. got sensitive. I got sensitive, yeah. yeah. I got super sad. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But can I also... You, what, the dailies the exist, guys. Do you what? guys want to see the dailies? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. please don't show them. Don't ever, don't, don't ever air those. <laughs> you it was a lot of, fuck you, fuck you. You know, no matter what. Go ahead. The whole crew, you're like, I'm so sorry for the way I was today. Like, I'll be much better coming, you know, next time. And you but, not much better. You got a lot better. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, no, you were. You, yeah. Did you guys like Bobby in the movie? <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. But the last thing I want to say, thank you so much. I want to say, but Dave, yeah. you're, you know, yeah. the guy that you, The baby's father. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Dave, you really helped me that day, man. Thank you so much for being there that day. I love you too, David. Thank so, you. Bo Bobby, in your role, how much of it is written script and how much is improv that you're It's in? pretty much mostly written. It is. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, and so here's another reason why I had a hard time with the role. Usually I'm like crazy in a movie. Yeah. Like my characters are like high energy or whatever. But this is this role was like so kind of like, you know, I had to play it authentic and real. Grounded. And, and grounded and whatnot. So it was just a difficult, because if I'm not getting huge laughs in my mind, I think I'm bombing. It's, like, it's the co comic in me. So it was like really, but I figured it out. You know what I mean? Yeah, what my part right. was, you know what I mean? So. It was great. And I, like, I feel like you two together, it's like cute. There's like a brotherly... I love you so much. I, really, I, I do. I think you're really good in the movie. And I think you're great I, too. I, I hope you watch it one day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Well, okay. Just to get a little bit more macro. So in making the movie, I mean, how do you guys even get the movie done? How does it get funded? What's the process? I think Jordi had told me that this was five years, started five years ago. Well, uh, I mean, we turned in the script, I think, 2020, like shortly after we finished the special together, Hot yeah. For My Name at um, yeah. Comedy Central, which if you've seen that special, you might see some of the, the themes and the dynamics between uh, Esther and her parents kind of worked their way into the movie. Also, Jordy was in my special. He played the sure. Comedy Central sure. executive when my parents started roasting me unexpectedly. <laughs> Um, and then his son played Brittany Furlong's yeah. son in the movie. That he was is so Nate cute. Elmer. Mommy, I go poo poo. Yeah. Yeah. The famous line. Yeah, I don't just that role too. <laughs> <laughs> it was close, Trevor. You, yeah. Yeah. So, Jordy, how do you round up? How do you make this all happen and come together so that you can get the funds? And uh, I mean, there's a lot of steps in it. I mean, uh, 
I, I was always excited to work with Nick and Esther uh, over the years, and uh, it just it it took a lot of like packaging the movie, getting everybody like getting Bobby on board was big for us, and obviously when you have Phil Burr attached as an executive producer and he's going to be in it, and now magical, you're kind of a little bit of a head start, but um, you know people. Uh, it's, there's not a lot of people buying comedies these days, and so uh, you know, thanks to Shout Factor, Shout Studios, our distributor, who helped finance it. They, uh, Thank you, Shout. Yeah, but finally, it was remarkably hard for, for when you have a name like Bill Burr and all things comedy and all the people that were attached. It was, it was, it was still, still a lot great. of no's. A lot of people like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We had to yeah. keep reducing the budget. <laughs> yeah. And then Esther was like, "Should you replace me?" Yeah. yeah. And then we're like, "No." I know. And, to be replaced. <laughs> I wanted to be the hero. We refused. She wanted somebody else to play Esther or June. You know? yeah, yeah, I was like, no, you guys get on the lifeboat. I'll stay back yeah. here. It's okay. <laughs> they, they wouldn't let me. Having, having the special, the show shout uh, after they read the script with Esther and what Nick had done really helped us because they were like, we didn't really know her, but we think she's hilarious and uh, we, we want to help you guys make it. So that was that was big for us. And then aside from casting, obviously people that you know, I mean, the casting, working with people like Beverly D'Angelo, what's, you know, talk a little bit about that. Just, you know, she's just a famous yeah. actress. Everyone we cast, like, absolutely killed it. I was like, oh, shit. Casting is really, like, the only thing that matters. And if you get it right, like, not, it's you're good. Well, and also, it, it was a little different with Beverly D'Angelo than working with... Uh, other cast members uh, in that she read the script, really uh, took uh, detailed notes and actually kind of came with, she, Beverly actually had tons of ideas. She came with like, you know, what if we did this? Uh, uh, I mean, there was a lot of story points that Beverly was concerned about. She cared about all scenes that she wasn't in actually. She learned all the lines that, you know, she didn't have to read, she read them. Because uh, it was part of the whole story, you know, so uh, she could have done Bobby's lines. <laughs> she could have uh, all right, all right, all right. Uh, What the fuck? So, um, so, you know, it was really interesting to see, you know, to work with somebody of that caliber, you know And obviously James Ream are the same thing. It was pretty cool to have for the, they brought a lot of gravitas to the set You know, it was pretty cool Right. And Haley, I mean Haley was so sweet too on set. I mean he was like I'm such a huge fan and it just he was just like, he was gung-ho about it. He was just like, you know, in. And um, wow, what a great gift for the movie. Great comedy instincts. Yeah. 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 Again, knocked it out too. Knew his lines. Nick? Uh, Nick, <laughs> settle. <laughs> I didn't know any of my lines. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm a fucking TikToker. I showed up. And I was like, oh, we're going to do it line by line. And then Nate goes, we're going to run through all seven pages at once. Yeah, no, everybody hated that. God, that, that was the a, worst. That was bad baby hated it the most. You thought you had, yeah. She, I mean, yeah, but my line was weed every yeah. time. <laughs> so you, I didn't know when to say it. It was crazy how you found the different levels yeah, yeah you know that was, that was, was the part the new one shoot. but yeah. everything overshot has been like this paragraph this paragraph page by page but you're like we're just doing seven pages in a row which is it was really, insane. i really just had no idea how else to do it at that point so it was that you were definitely in our most complicated really? craziest longest scene for sure yeah, yeah. And then you the add Bad Baby. And, yeah. yeah, and Bad Baby. Yeah. And you also put Miss Pat in there, right? I think, you know, right? I mean, a killer. Yeah. Didn't Steph Polo have a part in there? Steph Polo as, um, as the bartender. I mean, just so many just interesting and, and Matt super... Matt Walsh, talented people. Mm -hmm. Emmy Johnson. winner, Matt Walsh. Miranda, Cosgrove. Miranda Cosgrove. Miranda. Who was right, right here last night. Yeah, Miranda and Haley were here last night. Oh, they did the... Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Brandon Wardell. Brandon Wardell is Jonathan. Yeah, we wrote it for him specifically. Yeah. That was somebody. That was somebody else who, from the as soon as we were like, okay, let's make the Esther movie, and we kind of started figuring out some of the details about okay, she works at the pharmacy, yada yada. Uh, we knew that uh, Bobby was going to be the boss, and that Brandon was going to be her brother, and we kind of built outwards from there. And then we had Joe Jonas as uh, Owen as. Uh... Oh yeah, then he backed out. Well, let's talk about the people that backed out. Uh, <laughs> endless, endless <laughs> amount of people that backed out. Yeah, all night, like a rage. I have a lot of rage. Shane about Gillis it. was supposed to be in it. Yeah. Christian Stefano was supposed to be in it. Yes. 
Cedric the Entertainer. It's supposed to be in it. Uh, Cat Williams every, at one point. Yeah, 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 it, it went all over the place. <laughs> Everybody had the opportunity to say no. You know, show up. Esther, I'm this is obviously personal material for you, so I'm just curious, what part of the process do you like the most of it, from writing to production to editing to watching yourself, and which part do you like the least? Um, the long hours and being in every scene was really hard for me as a just naturally very lazy, lazy girl. Um, I, you know, because I had previously done a show called Alone Together where I was also in every scene and the first season and then like on the second season it was like, oh my God, we have to rework this so that we're not, me and Benji are not in every scene. And so I came to this project with that knowledge, but no one listened to me. <laughs> um, so it was, it was just exhausting, but it was also really fun and so rewarding. Like I've never been more proud of anything I've ever been in or done. Um, and then I would say the favorite part was like getting into the story and the script together was so much fun and also like every little win along the way and just people believing in me for seemingly no reason <laughs> like Jordy and Nick just totally being down for this and every day I'd be like you guys this is never happening like from day one I was like they're, De they're Delulu um, <laughs> but then we did it and so I always say like have a tall white guy on your team because like they just believe in themselves and <laughs> yeah give it up for white men like <laughs> Because I'm a short Jewish girl, and I'm like, guys, let's just let's, let's just go get ice cream and stop. <laughs> so yeah. I don't know if should we turn if the people in the audience have yeah. questions. Uh, turn it over to you guys. Anything you're curious about? There are no dumb questions. Go ahead. What was one of the biggest changes you made, like after writing when you started shooting? Like, oh, actually, this doesn't work. We should switch to this instead. Let me just read, so people can hear. The, the question is, what are some of the changes that were made from writing to shooting? Well, we did have to, we, we, we minimized some things. Uh, we had to cut some stuff 